Ever since I turned 60 a few years ago, I found myself increasingly avoiding people. The older I get, the more I seek out moments of solitude and time with myself. It's not something I'm worried about. I sometimes think it's probably part of the ageing process. Because we can't escape the fact that there's a good chance, if we're in a long marriage, that we might be the one that's left alone. I've just dropped off my Uncle Archie at Tesco's, he's 94, and he was married to my Auntie Jean from, I guess, what he'd be about 22, 23, something like that, and unfortunately lost his wife when he was 82. So he's lived the last 12 years on his own, and he's made a real fist of it. But I can tell, knowing him as I do, that he's not been happy with it really. His life went downhill after he lost his wife. So from 82 to 94, he's almost existed. So the question I ask myself is, am I feeling like this in preparation for the fact that I might be the one that gets left alone? I mean, I hope I'm not. Um, I hope my wife outlives me. Most women do outlive their husbands. But there are the occasional outliers like Archie who actually are the ones that, that are left. The other reason that I find myself not pushing to seek people's company is that I've become less trusting of people. In my 50s particularly, I think I was finished off by my experiences. After I sold my business when I was in my mid 40s and I took a few years off and spent a lot of time with my family, I then went back to work on a part-time basis doing coaching and consulting. Um, I even got involved with an organisation trying to set up a peer group of CEOs. And the whole experience of the last 10 years when I returned to work has kind of put me off people a little bit. I didn't have a very good experience, uh, particularly with the organisation that I joined for a few years to try and build the, the peer group. That was almost a bit like being transported back into my 20s when everybody was jostling for position, sucking up to the boss, politicking, manipulating and all that kind of thing. And I just reached the point when I hit 60 that I'd had enough of exposure to duplicitous people, people who perhaps had another agenda. Uh, they were maybe befriending you for reasons other than they wanted to be your friend. And I think by the time you get to 60, you want all that kind of behaviour in the rear view mirror. So now, as far as I'm concerned, I just like to spend time with people who I know really well and I know I can trust them. That doesn't mean that I'm not interested in making friends as I get older because I'm sure I will make more friends. One of my more recent friendships is with Andy. And if you've been watching any of our live sessions, you'll know we have a bit of a banter about retirement. Well, we both met during the time with that organization when we were trying to build peer groups. And Andy's become a good friend. And he's somebody that I didn't know until I was in my uh, late 50s. So I'm not saying that I don't want to make any more friendships because I'm always open to friendships. But I think you reach a point in your life where you just don't want to be chasing those kind of things. Let them come to you. Let them come to you naturally, organically, just through being out and about and doing things. This attitude to avoiding people isn't just restricted to those kind of situations either. I also find myself not wanting to leave the house when it's particularly busy. And, and my wife feels the same way. For example, on a weekend, we love to get up early, uh, go to the car boot sale in York, or in winter, we'll get out and go for a walk because it's quiet. There are not many people around. And we often travel to Leeds, to a big city not far from us, to do a little bit of shopping. But we're up again, bright and early, eight, eight o'clock in the morning, something like that, um, on our way to Leeds so that we can be in Leeds around 10 o'clock have a bit of a putter around and get on our way by 12 before all the people start to show up. Um, and I find that is also the case with socialising. My wife and I love to go out and eat at restaurants, but we never go to restaurants on a weekend. Uh, Friday night, Saturday night is unheard of now. And there was a time when that's what we would do. Now we like to go midweek uh, when the restaurants aren't as busy. And we also like to take advantage of some of the early bird deals that are on offer. 
when you can eat uh, set courses for under £20 a head um, before five o'clock. And again, not many people are in the restaurants at that time of day, and I absolutely love it. Um, if there's one thing I can't abide, it's a, it's a crowded restaurant or a crowded pub full of people. The same thing applies to supermarket shopping. If I can avoid the supermarket on a weekend, I will. I like to go later on in the evening, probably in the last hour or two before the local supermarket closes, which, and the one we use in York is Waitrose, which closes at nine o'clock. So again, my wife and I, if we're gonna to go to Waitrose and we're gonna do a shop, we usually pitch up around about seven o'clock, 7.30, midweek, usually on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, something like that, when it's really quiet. Or alternatively, I sometimes get up and, uh, and I go out and I arrive at the supermarket early doors when, it, when it's first opening. Anything to avoid people. Again, I can't do with all the crowds in, the, uh, in these places. That's what the thing for me. I've also been applying the same filter to holidays. All the holidays I take now are out of season. I wouldn't dream of going anywhere in the summer, particularly in the places like Spain or the Mediterranean, those kind of places. My favourite haunt is Portugal. We go to Portugal quite a few weeks of the year, but at the time of year that I love it there is around the Christmas time. So we usually fly out around 14th, 15th of December, and we come back sometime or any time between the 5th and the 10th. So we can be out there for three or four weeks. And Portugal is really quiet at that time of year. There's hardly anybody there, but a lot of the bars are open. The beach restaurants, the beach bars, most of them are open and our favourites are certainly open. And I love it. What do I love about it? No crowds. The beaches are empty. I can go on long walks without, without worrying about bumping into people. But in the summer, it's an absolute nightmare. Not only is it hot, but the beaches are absolutely crammed full. We used to go there when our son was smaller. Uh, for a brief time, we actually had an apartment out there and lived there for quite a, a large part of the year. And it was terrible in the summer. I used to hate it, but, uh, but now I absolutely love it. Great place. Temperature's wonderful, about 19, 20, 21 degrees. Uh, there's nothing better than having your Christmas turkey sat outside in a lovely sunny day. So yeah, holidays now are all about avoiding the crowds, which is a bit of a dilemma for me, because one of the things that I really do enjoy doing is cruise holidays but cruise ships are getting bigger and more crowded. Um, and I haven't been on a cruise ship for a couple of years now. Uh, and part of the reason that I haven't been on them is that I'm just a little bit reluctant to be in a space with all these kind of people. Uh, it doesn't appeal to me in the same way, but I'm still potentially looking forward to the adventures that you can do on a cruise ship. So what do you think? Is there something going on in our minds as we age which is preparing us for the possibility that we might be spending more time on our own. Because I know a lot of people, when they're older, they don't have the same social interaction that they had when they were younger. So is there something going on? Are we being triggered mentally for that kind of thing? Is it part of the ageing process? Or is it simply that as you get older, you just get to be a grumpy old git who doesn't like people? I've just reached a point in life where I enjoy my own company and I enjoy spending time on my own. Now's the perfect example. I've dropped off Uncle Archie at Tesco's and I'm now having a walk on the Knavesmire doing this video and the Knavesmire is really quiet. There's hardly anybody here. It's a, it's a great place to be. It's not totally devoid of people. There are odd people wandering around, walking their dogs and things like that, but it's just nice to walk out on your own and not have to bump into people. Living in the city is a, a bit of a challenge at times because York is a very, very busy city. Um, so I don't often venture out into the city um, on a weekend particularly because it's really crowded. Um, but where we live in York, it's like a little pocket of uh, serenity. It's really quiet. You can hardly hear a pin drop and it's right in the middle of the city and I enjoy that. So having everything on my doorstep is a good thing but the crowds are not a good thing. So what do you think? Do you enjoy your own company? The older you get are you less tolerant of people or is it just me? Let me know in the comments. But right now that's enough for today for today's Friday vlog. Uh, I'm going to go back now and pick up Uncle Archie and uh, I know he's been getting some of his Christmas shopping in 
cakes and mince pies and things like that. At 94 years of age he certainly knows how to enjoy himself. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.